Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Being it, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter reviews, scenes, videos I've been doing for a little while. Now we go over there, chat food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about. Hopefully, delicious stuff that I'm going to feature in this here video. I'm going to go over there and consume some things with the old mouth. It's, you can see it. It's talking. It's. I mean, you know, maybe you can't see it. You know, you might be visually impaired or... Maybe you're not even visually impaired. Maybe you're doing something else, and while you're doing something else, you've got this on in the background. I don't know why you would do that. There's so many better things to have on in the background, like, hey, hey, I'm wearing an Oakley Doakley shirt. Segway. Oakley Doakley, they're a great Ned Flanders-based metal band. Maybe go over there and put the, maybe go over there and put their stuff on. Hey, you could even go over there, go through some of my videos not too long ago, I went over there, I went out and saw Ned uh, Oakley Doakley live, and I posted up some concert videos. So maybe you could do that. It's up to you, folks. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, boom! We got Nick's Hot Sauce Flavored Corn Chips. They're Fritos, you see, but not called Fritos. Um, yeah, I always... <laughs> I always like finding stuff like this where like, because like I did a review, the last review that I did, you know, I don't know how it's going to go up in terms of order, but last one I did were these violet mint things. Go watch that video. Uh, same place I found these. So every now and again, I like to go to unfamiliar gas stations because every now and again, you get ones that just have like weird off-brand stuff. And these are apparently some off-brand Fritos from some dude named Nick. I have a cousin named Nick pretty good dude. I haven't talked to him a little while. He's living out, I think, maybe Colorado. I forget. One of the states where there's mountains, I think. But he's doing well, as far as I know, last time I heard. So, very smart guy, very successful doing. Years younger than me. Already lapped me in all of his successful ventures. So, good on him. And if his brother happens to watch this, because he has an older brother as well, who's also younger than me, who's also doing better in life than me, because they're not going over there and filming fucking food reviews in their truck outside their house. <laughs> uh, he actually has a uh, podcast called Feeding Curiosity. I, in fact, was even featured on an episode where I just rambled on about bullshit. But uh, I'm just going to go over there and throw this out there. Hey, you know... Check out his uh, his uh, his podcast. It's not like a shitty, stupid podcast like most podcasts are. It's actually a good one. Aside from having idiots on like me, he actually has like people who are like really well versed in science and all kinds of shit. So like it's it's actually a really good podcast. So. Or you, you can go or you can watch the episode with me if you want more of these dumbass shenanigans. So anyway, hot sauce flavored chips. You say? I'm hoping that these got a lot of flavor because. Like, the back of the bag, I, it's got, like, little flecks of what I'm hoping is, like, seasoning that I can just see through on the bag. Otherwise, the bag is dirty. Nope, that seems to be the inside of the bag. So, let's give, let's try it out with Nick's. I don't think my cousin Nick is the devil, and I don't think he makes corn chips. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I haven't seen him in a while. One thing, I'm going to immediately make this great. I make this grab when it comes to almost every damn time I do chips. Chips, right? Chip, 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 chips. Half your bag is a lie. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Made this point before. It's noxious as fuck. Like, the, can we get the EPA or somebody in on this shit? Like, some kind of fucking government? Because, look, folks, I understand you. there's profit margins that need to be made and blah, blah, blah. I'm... I'm not against that shit. I understand it. If for no other fucking reason, folks, then we're just wasting materials. Can we please just go over there and get, like, size-appropriate bags to chip ratio? I don't even care if you fucking charge the same amount. That's fine, but let's go over there. Let's ditch the fucking... It's almost two-thirds bigger than the goddamn thing. I'm just saying. It bothers me. It actively bothers me.
I'm surprised that they don't have more of a smell. Like, I expected this thing, like, to open up and be like, woof, with hot sauce uh, scent. Mostly, I'm just kind of smelling corn chips. And, yeah, the stuff is definitely the seasoning on the inside, so. All right. Are these? Apparently, they're from Michigan. Hooray, Michigan! That, that's definitely not my cousin, then. Yeah, I know for a fact he doesn't live in Michigan. Unless he moved. Is there a Best Buy on this? There's got to be somewhere. I just want to make sure, because, like, I've been fucked over by some... Um... Um... Which... And this is another thing, right? Like, oh, okay, it's on the front. I'm stupid. <laughs> they're, in, they're in date. Let's try some chips. Feeling wacky, folks. Feeling wacky. They're, they're like, proper, you know, like, flaming hot colored, so... A little bit different consistency and texture than standard corn chips. They're, uh... I would say that they, uh... They're, they're not quite as crunchy. They're a little bit softer. Okay. They're interesting because with them being hot sauce flavored, like, okay, obviously I'm expecting heat. And they do actually have some okay heat. Like, even just that little bit, it got me at the back of my throat. It made me take pause for a second. Uh, and it's and it's a buildup, you know. The only, I mean, obviously I'm going to try a few more, but the only initial disappointment I have is that a lot of times, like, I love hot sauce flavored chips like the uh doritos that are flavored with uh like tapatio sauce uh i love those those are fantastic because hot sauce aside from heat like heat is one thing like and i eat, i even have uh like I have, I have a bunch of hot sauces one of the ones i have is like just like capsaicin extract basically it's it's mostly it's like 95 percent just heat and then like a tiny bit of flavoring and while it's fun to go over there and use for, like, occasional things, like, just to give it a little thing, like, really what I want is I want something that's flavorful and then also has a spiciness to it. With this, I got the heat. The flavor wasn't quite what I was expecting. So, but again, we're, we're going to try some more, so. Meh. Because there is some flavor to them. And it's not bad. But it subsides pretty quickly. And that tastes more like a corn chip. And then the heat kicks in. And, yeah, I mean, they're not bad. And I enjoy the heat aspect of it. Because it does give a nice little kick. I just wish it had more flavor. You know... I wish that uh, the initial flavor that I get from it was more prominent throughout the entire eating experience, whereas really the initial taste is actually quite nice and has a nice kind of, you know, hot sauce flavor, but it dies down really quickly and then it just kind of becomes sort of corn chippy and then hot. And... Uh, I mean, yeah, you're getting all the experiences. I mean, I still want it to taste like a corn chip. I want it to be hot, but I'd like to also have the sauce aspect of it, you know, to be a more prominent player. Because they're not bad. They're they're decent. But I can also tell now why they didn't have a big scent to them, because the heat isn't going to have, you know, the, that's not going to have a big scent to it. Corn chips smell like corn chips. The thing that you would really be smelling is the hot sauce aspect. And that's the least prominent aspect of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. It's kind of a shame. Because I was really hoping, like, if these had been, if these had met or at least been somewhat close to my expectations, I would have really been into these because I like corn chips 
but I'm a bigger fan of like the flavored ones, like the Fritos, uh, the honey barbecue ones, the uh, chili cheese ones. These are jalapeno ones. I don't know if those are still around. Those were okay. I wasn't as big on those, but you know, they're decent. I was really hoping that this would be almost like a replacement, you know, like, cause I would be totally down with hot, some like genuine hot sauce flavored Fritos. These unfortunately really don't do that because again, it's the thing of like, if I just wanted something with heat, okay. But then, you know, there's flaming Hot Doritos, there's flaming Hot uh, Cheetos and stuff like that. There's other options that are not only hot, but also offer a lot of flavor. And that I feel is where they kind of missed the, the boat on this. Um, Cause they're not bad, they taste okay, but I just feel flavor wise, they're just, they're kind of weak. And like I said, that, that for me is really unfortunate because I went into these really hoping that I was gonna like them a lot. And ultimately, while well, I'll, you know, I mean, I'll keep the bag around probably as like a snack for, you know, when I'm at lunch work, when I'm, when I'm out on my lunch for work, um, you know, but outside of that, and then the thing is, even as a snack, because they do have the heat that they do, it'd be hard to go over there, even though you're not getting that much in the bag, it'd be hard to go over there and just, you know, grab a handful at a time. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I, well, they're not bad, they're nowhere near spectacular, and like I said, I just, I don't feel like they met my expectations. I, you know, if, I mean, would I recommend them? Probably not. You know, I, I mean, like, you know, if they were actually, um, uh, in any way related to my cousin Nick, I, I'd call out my cousin Nick and I'd be like, hey, cousin Nick, I had to get your phone number from your brother. <laughs> I'm a bad family member. What the fuck are you doing with these chips, man? Why did, first of all, why didn't you send me some? so that I could go over there and give you my input before you go over there and send them out to the people. But now that it's already done, we gotta go back to the lab, okay? We gotta get this shit done. Cause yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I couldn't really recommend them. Like they're okay, but if, if what you want are some Cheetos, or not some Cheetos, I'm sorry. If what you want is some Fritos that are a little bit softer than typical Fritos that, you know, have a kick to them, but at the same time, don't offer a lot of flavor, sure, go with them. But otherwise, I just, I, I wish I liked them. I really do, I wanna emphasize that. Like, I just, I, they're just okay. They're just very, very okay. And uh, yeah, I, regardless of what family member's name might be on them, I don't think I'd get them again. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me, folks. Uh, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, spend the rest of your month, an amazing rest of your year. If you can go over there and have results, a truly hot sauce flavored rest of your life, but proper hot sauce flavored, okay? Not, not some no substance, just the heat, no flavor stuff. No, no. We're, we're talking Tapatitos, Doritos, rest of your life, okay? Uh, Two final things for me, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, even if it doesn't always feel like it sometimes. But we do if we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? That's you know, that's my my plea to the world, folks. We're all we're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Maybe everyone else is. I'm definitely not. Suck ass if I was the one guy holding us all back. But I don't think that's the case. <laughs> definitely not my experience. But you know hey, we're over here, we all live in this world together, let's try to be nice to each other. Mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're gonna go over there, and your name is Nick, and you're not my cousin, but you're also named Nick, and maybe you're gonna go over there and you're gonna talk to this Nick through the Nick Hive mind that I assume just exists between all Nicks. I'm Brandon, we, we, we're not quite that Advanced. We we have our own satellite system, though. It, it's a thing. We've, we we have our own agendas. But uh, maybe you're going to talk to this Nick. And you'll be like, hey, Nick, 
there was a Brandon, he was over there, he was talking about it, and uh, he wasn't really digging your chips, man. He's a fat guy wearing a Ned Flanders metal band shirt. You might want to listen to this guy. I'm just saying. And you go over there, revise the recipe. They're delicious. I review them again. The video is super popular. Gets billions of views. I make the millions. All the Knicks make the millions. It's, it's a thing. It's all beneficial. Or maybe go over there and do something else more productive and positive with your time. Uh, you go over there, um, put some accent lighting out on a patio. Bye.